Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Jen Munoz. Today we'll be making carne guisada, Jennifer style. Here are your ingredients. Please remember to cut your meat into small cubes. Let's jump right into it. We are gonna put our Instant Pot at saute for 10 minutes. This is my second time using this Instant Pot. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and add our oil. Now we will add our meat. Please be careful when putting this into your Instapot that your oil may be hot. Make sure you wash your hands every time you touch meat that you don't want to cross-contaminate your food. Let's make sure we are sauteing our meat, that it does not stick to the bottom of the pan. Now we will be adding our nor bouillon. If you noticed, my recipe did not ask for any salt because the bouillon has salt in it already. Let's go ahead and add our onions. You can use whatever color of onions that you like. I had purple onions left over, so I used those up. OMG, they were not cooperating with me. <laughs> now let's mix those in with our rest of our meat. That way we can saute them for just a moment. Let's saute a few more minutes. Don't give up on me, you're doing just fine. Now we'll be adding our tomatoes. Let's get those babies right in there. Now our cilantro. Make sure that you get every piece of cilantro that this is very necessary. Now we'll be adding our garlic and our pepper. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Let's mix all that in together and voila. Now let's add our water. This is the way it should look. We will now set our pressure cooker to 35 minutes on high. Make sure you press that start button. I put some water in a bowl with some cumin and a little bit of flour to make the thickening sauce. Those 35 minutes are up. Now we have to go ahead and turn our Instant Pot on saute for on high for 10 minutes. We want to add our thickening sauce into our Instant Pot so that way we can bring our meat up to a boil. Once our pot has come to a boil, it will look like this. Continue to simmer for about 10 minutes, remembering to mix, so that way your meat does not stick to the bottom of the pot. Once it's 10 minutes, enjoy. Now you're ready to serve. Thank you so much for coming by and cooking with Jen Munoz. Have a great day.